that was a dance of liberation and dance of uh, celebration of life. To celebrate life, you can celebrate everywhere, even in Auschwitz. And this is the opposite what Hitler actually planned to do. And here I came with my grandchildren. If somebody will tell me then that I will come 60 trees later with my grandchildren, I will send him to a mental institution. Who could believe then? Never. What was it like to be back at the camp for the making of this video? I had a mixed feeling, actually, when I came to Auschwitz again with my grandchildren and my daughter. It was a sad feeling because uh, part of the family perished in Auschwitz. I was going in a kettle wagon with my, my mother. This is the last time I have seen her. You mean uh, you're talking about when you move from the cattle car, they always have you go in a line? That's right, yeah. So we had to wait outside for many, many hours. We were not allowed to sit down on the grass even. This is the last time I have seen her. She was only 46 years old. Because what actually, when we were sorted out, we were shaved, completely shaved. Then they asked us to go to have a shower. We were lucky because we had a shower. But my mother, she had guests. You know, surviving in Auschwitz, was that more skill or, or was it luck? Luck. Luck. It was no skill, no cleverness, no... Only luck. Yeah. Did you enjoy the dance? I wouldn't say that I enjoyed. That wasn't an enjoyment. Did you want that to was, dance? Yeah, because I will tell you, in our family, we always dance. We dance from the beginning, you know, about uh, 40 years ago, I made a film of dancing. And uh, we always were dancing. We were used to dance. And, uh, you know, we were making compulsory dresser parties in our home. And I got films of that, which I produced myself. <laughs>